Good evening. This is Linda. In this vision, I was walking with the Lord on a narrow path. It was a dirt path. And we were fellowshipping and having a wonderful time talking. And suddenly I tripped off the path. And I was, I landed in the grass beside the path. I was so upset with myself because I wasn't watching where I was going. So I sat there angry, embarrassed, humiliated, feeling silly. And I began to tear up and had my head down and the Lord stopped. He turned and he looked at me and he waited for several seconds as I sat and cried, feeling just conspicuous and foolish. And then he reached his hand out to me and he said, we don't stay here, let's go now. I was stunned because he didn't feel about me the way that I did. He knew there was no reason for me to stay there sitting in shame and embarrassment, discomfort, humiliation. He said, let's go. That's how he feels about us. When we sin, when we make mistakes, when we know we've done something wrong, whether deliberately or by accident, when we have a knee-jerk response to someone or we've, we've stumbled into uh, being uh, offended or defensive or whatever sin it may be, he still says the same thing. We don't stay here. Let's go on. The lesson for me was to forgive myself far more quickly than I ever had. And it became a life lesson for me. I was raised not to really value myself, not to think well of myself, and not to forgive myself. I had examples in my mother and my grandmother and others in my life that taught me I didn't deserve to be forgiven. It wasn't until my mother was much older and later in life until she began to know that Jesus really loved her as she was and that he forgave her. Even though at times she continued to wrestle with that and have unbelief at that, I'd always encourage her, Mom, Jesus loves you. Go ahead and forgive you because he has forgiven you. Forgive you and go on. And I say that to you as I'm sitting in my living room talking to you. Whatever it is that you've done, wherever shame is holding you captive or worry or fear or guilt, I should have or I should not have. I wish I had. I wish I had not. Whatever those things are, today's a good day as the Lord stands with you in that prison cell with the cell door open, saying, let's go out today, let's go on. I encourage you to go ahead and forgive and release you as you've forgiven and released all the others that have hurt you. Let's go on today to know the Lord and not hold ourselves captive by the mistakes we've made, the things that we've done. Let's be free because Jesus came to set us free and we know that he's good and that he has good plans for us. Father, I pray for all of us that we will quickly turn from those things that we've done wrong into repentance and forgive ourselves and keep going with you and not lose time, not lose a day, not lose a week, months, years, decades, or a lifetime in unforgiveness. Help us, Father, to know that you truly do love us and accept us, and we can love and accept ourselves and know that we make mistakes. Sometimes we don't make the best decisions, but that we can be forgiven and we can go on with you and learn from those mistakes, learn from those bad decisions, and learn to walk with you. Teach us how, Lord, 
to live this life with you. God bless us today to seek him with our whole hearts that we may find him, call on him, and he will answer us. And I pray every blessing upon us, Lord, to follow you and to go on to know you. In Jesus' name.